what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of crashing on storage or crash on storage issue you're currently having with daisy so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want you guys to know let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys. You would support my work on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step in order to fix this kind of issue is gonna be to the navigating to the very bottom of your screen. You're gonna open up your task manager by just simply right clicking your taskbar and opening it up. Next step is going to be to navigate to the top left corner of your screen where I want you to click into processes and just afterwards click one of those random processes. What I want you to do next is going to be to simply type in D in order to find day Z. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, simply right click and enter the task. Once you're finished, I want you to enter task manager again. Afterwards, just take the Steam or day Z shortcut on your desktop. And if you don't have it on your desktop, simply navigate to the bottom left corner, click onto the Windows symbol and use a Windows search function in order to find it. So once you found it, drag it right back on your desktop. You're going to right click and simply navigate to run as an administrator. Click that and wait a little bit. If it crashes again, you're going to right click and go to the very bottom where it says properties. Once you click properties, you should be able to see this tab popping up, compatibility, enable, run this program as in compatibility mode 4, select Windows 8, disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator, hit apply and OK. Afterwards, I would recommend to restart your PC. Once it is restored, you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right on your shortcut. I want you to simply double click it and launch a game or launch a game over the launcher and this should fix the issue. Yeah guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And yeah guys, I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do a mess in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.